I actually said this in one of my uh, one of my posts where I was like, um, "Will you love a person so much that you both toxic?" You know what I'm saying? That actually can't happen. Yeah. Cause you can do y'all can do stuff to each other or towards each other, but you don't want to leave each other, and you know it ain't healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those situations. Like, that's why I can never just... I'd rather just listen to love songs because I don't know... Like, I listen to some rap. Don't get me wrong. And I do listen to... um, You know, rappers. Um, If it's a female... um. It's all about self-worth, but not angry. You know what I'm saying? If it gets too angry, it kind of disrupts my peace a little bit. So, because I don't know the situation. I'm too deep for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I don't I done been on both ends. Like, I've been done wrong. I did wrong. You know, we both did wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been there. So... I ain't going to act like I'm just perfect patty. If I'm upset about something, if I did something, you know, if I'm wrong in something, I admit those things. That's one of the things that you always taught me. You know, part of being an adult is admitting when you're wrong about something. You know, and I've been wrong in some situations and hopes that that person was going to really just stick around and be there. You know, I'm sitting there just, I'm going be honest with you, you know, when you don't, heal that part of your life, you really gaslighting your friend. Like, <laughs> you know, when you just, kind of <laughs> you wrong, but you gaslighting the mess out your friends, right? <laughs> you telling them all kinds of stuff. They get rowdy. They ready to fight. They ready to get down, to get down. Tell them to come out in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys like to mess out your friends. Whole time, you know, somewhere in there, he probably wouldn't even got went that far with you if you ain't never initiate the situation you know what i'm saying like he probably would he probably was on chill mode but you just had to keep going with you had to keep going you just had to keep going to the point where he had to hang up in your face you know what i'm saying you just had you know worst case scenario you had situation where you know a female might because, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've been in domestic situations where a man hit me and it got bad. But I have been in situations where I hit first and I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, dang. And then when he left, I felt bad about it. I felt so bad about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, really bad about that. Right. So, from that time on, like, if I do put my hand on a dude, that's only because he was in my space. And I asked him to move out of my space. And... You know what I'm saying? I ask first, okay? Because you got me bagged up, and I don't like to feel bagged up or cornered. And and I, I ask for that nicely. And I'm telling you, and you know, people like to make you feel kind of intimidated when they do all that brush, woo woo. You know, that, that old bumping of the chest, don't bump me. That's physical contact. If, right. You, you know what I'm saying? That's, as soon as you, that's considered assault. So if you, as soon as you touch me, I got every right to go on and, you know, defend myself. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, I have, I have had a situation where I was in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it just, it really all depends on, it really all depends on your state of mind at the time. Like, if you, if you, if you know for a fact, you know what I'm saying, like, okay, this could have been handled a little bit better, you know, try to work it out before you get the gas like your friend. Cause, <laughs> you know what I'm telling you, because you're a narcissist at this time. You wrong. You did him wrong. He, you done talked so crazy. You about talked about his mama. You done talked about his kids. You done talked about everybody. You done talked about his third black pinky toe on the left hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, you done talked about that bunion that nobody know about. You just, <laughs> you just, you done talked so bad about this man and yeah. to this man. That man had to get to a point where he had to get somebody rub his bunion up. Get to that point where he had to go to a female with, you know what I'm saying? That just, mm-hmm. her breath may not have been the best, but 
at least she she listened. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like right. we we I'm just saying we not always in the right and we sitting and telling our friends <laughs> how he doing us wrong. I'm still Cause we fine. I'm still <laughs> check what what route did you take did you make right. him feel good did you realize sometimes when you wrong you not always right even right. when you right and he wrong you not you don't always have to rub it in his face mm -hmm. or you ain't gotta always put it out there for everybody to know that's oh. true 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 Ourselves. I'm just saying, cause we we'll sit there and be mad too. That's why she you you cheat on me for her for her. She ain't got she got one arm. I'm <laughs> cuter than her. What she shaped like a whole wisdom too. You see this natural body over here? <laughs> you see all this? That's why her teeth heavy. Yeah, that top right too. That's why that one longer than the other one. We go in, but the whole time she giving him everything he needs. Right, right. We just right. look good next to him, but that one actually being that woman that he needs, and we mm -hmm. don't we don't take that in consideration that mm -hmm. it's not always about looks. Man, I ain't thinking about that. We put lashes on because we trying to look cute for ourselves. Right. And for the insecure ones, they do it because they want to, you know, compare each other. But man, ain't looking at that. You know what I'm saying? They, not, no. they, they see they, it. They see it. They see it. And if they mention it nine times out of ten, they mention it only because they want you to know that, you know, or want us to know that they recognize what we did to ourselves. Right. And sometimes we, we just need that compliment because, you know, compliments is really, if you think about it, compliments are way better than the actual, it's, physical thing it's a form of intimacy but yeah. it's a different level of intimacy like women mm. us women we will love a compliment before we get touched on our butt <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah if you tell me i look nice you look beautiful man you look gorgeous that, you just brighten up my day baby what you mean <laughs> you just met <laughs> put that tab on me okay you know what I'm saying? We'll, we we we'll appreciate that versus a dude. That's why I ain't like you anyway. Oh, da -da 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 -da. you find me up real quick, talking crazy to me. I'm like, he just blew it. You know? Mm -hmm. Compliments are way better than anything when it comes down like like physical and as far as intimacy, compliments, mm -hmm. Ooh, all of it because. It takes thought. I must have glued the lashes or something. What do you remember that time when the, the dude on the corner, uh, homeless dude, I think he wanted a dime or something. And he had, he had, I uh, think you said that the dude started giving you compliments and stuff. And you were like, man, I can go around the corner. Do you Damn. remember that time? 
yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, some, man, you'd be surprised, man. You'd be like, man, sh man, you'd be just, man, you look so beautiful today. Oh, my gosh. You just, blah, blah, blah. and then be like, you got a few, you know what I'm saying, few, few dollars on mm -hmm. you. Let me see if I got some. I, <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Versus, you know, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm just trying to get me a beer. At least if you tell me I look good today, I might go on and give you this dollar, but... You know, I'm, I'm going to actually take, put in the effort to look for a dollar. But if you tell them you're just going to get a bit, let me see what I got in front of me. If I don't see it right here, then I'll give you what I have right here. Somebody said, <laughs> somebody said mm. you look gorgeous. You look so beautiful. Wow. That's, you know what I'm saying? makes you want to dig deeper. Yeah. I love that. It makes you want to dig a little deep within yourself. When mm. somebody sees that about you, that's a quality, you know, trait. So if you, you okay, it's a give and take thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, yeah. you know, it's not, it's not about who you are. It's not about, you know, how people see you or anything. Because you can have all the money in the world, and be left with no love in your heart. Why? Because either you didn't look at the situation from a different perspective, how that situation could have been handled. You didn't think about how everybody felt in that situation. Yeah, you... No, I took it out. Yeah, you hurt, but have you ever thought about who you might have hurt? That plays a part, man. I, I, when I took uh, that group... I, thought, I don't know if I told you. When I took that group session, it was like a form of therapy. It was called Liberation at a Church. It was some years ago. It was um, at World Overcomer. And they had us pull out a piece of paper, literally. They gave everybody a piece of paper. Gave everybody a pen, paper. And they said, put a line in between. They said, write down everybody that hurt you and how they hurt you. I'm telling you, I'm going down the list. Everybody going down the list. They said, now I want you to do another thing. Now write down how many people you hurt. You know why that, even though you are right, for some reason, you write slower on the side where you have to admit when you were wrong, it's simply because you have to admit it. People think, that's why I say, like, they people are so quick to say your competition is other people. No, when you got to deal, face yourself, and look yourself in the mirror that deals with the heart and admit, dang, I was wrong. That's what made me see a lot of things. When I when I took that class, I'm like, dang, I did. I was wrong. I was dead wrong, too. Yeah. Yeah, you opened my eyes about something else. That's something I didn't even thought about. Because your heart, you'll be surprised how much your heart open up. And when your heart open up, God open more opportunities for you in, in a way that you'll never even know. You'll meet people that you'll never think you'll ever meet. Simply because you open that space right here and say, you know what? <sighs> if I just handled that situation just a little bit different. It's not saying that you're wrong because it's really no such thing as right and wrong. To, to be honest, because everything is a learning experience, okay? Everybody got their own way of thinking. Everybody have their own lifestyle because that household might have might have been taught this was right while the other household was taught that was wrong. So it's really no real right or wrong. And there's no teacher standing over, over us, you know what I'm saying, putting A's and B's on our life. We just had to learn as we go. So it's just it's really no right and wrong. It's more so of I could have handled that a little bit different. How can I fix that? And if it's something that you cannot fix at that time, Guess what? You learn from that situation and be prepared for the next test in your life. Because it's going to come back around. You just got to be prepared for it. So it's just like one of those things where you just got to learn from how you how you view things because you'll run off good people who made a played a major role in your life, but they, they might have been ready to go. I have been in relationship, literally. I have been in relationships where my mind was ready to go before my body. Oh, that, that, that happens often with women. 
And men believe I mean, before in, in relationships. The the mind leaves way before the body does. Yeah. <clears throat> and you'd be surprised. Men go through that same thing too. You gotta peep the signs. When a man be ready before the body go, he don't talk very much to you. He barely wanna come home. He's not really in his right state of mind. He stopped even debating with you. When you start getting over the top, he just stopped talking. He stayed to himself. You know what I'm saying? He go outside to get on the phone. But he really, you would think it's another woman, but it's really not. It's just his homeboy because that's the only person he could really vent to because you too out of out of control. He really can't go to family because family just going to say, just stick it out. And they don't really want to stick it out with you. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> They really try to, they try That's to find true. a way out. They trying to get, they trying to hand off to their friend. If you just let me stay for like <laughs> six months, but I can't say that without sounding like I'm weak in the situation and I don't want my business out. I just got to act like this is okay, but I'm just hoping you will offer me this opportunity. You know what I'm saying? But when you offer it, I'm going to say no the first time, but after a while, I'm going to just be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to just go on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Men have those moments too because we we find ourselves neglecting how they truly feel, and instead of admitting some things where we might have been wrong in situations, that's why even when things I'm hurt, I never say they they just did me bad. I just say they hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Because I know for a Ooh, fact. That's cool. Yeah, because um. I know, I know that I'm not perfect, and I know I might have hurt them. <clears throat> they not to say somebody just did you bad <clears throat> or just did you so wrong. You you really in a sense condemning them. You know what I'm saying? But if you just say they hurt you, it gives you it op- it it allows you to open your mind to believe. Okay, yeah, I need to this. Maybe I need to go ahead and start healing some things about myself. Because that did hurt me. That hurt me. And so, it's not... Because you can't control what another person does. You can't make that person unhurt you. All you can do is heal. Yep. All you can do... All that person can do is heal. Because cause when you forgive... You're not forgiving them for them. You're forgiving them for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's just it's just learning. It's all about learning, progression, just seeing things through. You got to look at things from a different perspective because, man, you hold on how a person do you wrong for too long. It's like gangrene. It's like gangrene. You hurt. And you, let's think about it. Look at your hand, right? Let's say your hand is, is is you and you the thumb and the rest of them is a group of friends, right? And you are so damaged and you so hurt about what one person did to you, okay? But you confining this person as a friend and then you start combining yourself. You know what I'm saying? You just keep, <laughs> you just keep, be friend these people and you still unhealed you the gang green then you the thumb okay mm-hmm. if you don't refuse to heal that whole hand will be gone everybody everybody through right now i'm not saying because you know most people what they do with gang green mm-hmm. they they cut the finger the hand the finger off. completely off you know what i'm saying However, if you catch it early enough before it gets too bad, you can take off that part of you. You can move that part of you away. It don't have to be the whole finger. Because there are people who had gangrene. They might not have no nail up there on that thumb or, you know, may not have a nail, but they still was able to save that finger in some way. You can save yourself. That's, the only, that's basically what it's say, I'm saying only way you're going to be able to keep yourself from spreading that same heartbreak disease because it's really like it's contagious and it's, 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 it causes heart problems. People die of heartbreak. A person can be so heartbroken that 
they don't realize and they breaking everybody around them heart because it's that contagious You know, it's easy to say F that person, forget that person. You know what I did? I told you what I did, right? I don't know. I told I wish I wished uh <clears throat> I wish Steph a happy birthday. You know, last year I forgot. I'm gonna be honest with you. He thought it was on purpose, but I really forgot. But I remember Barbie. <laughs> but the days be going by and so I can remember the other day, I'm like, what day is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to remind myself in that way because usually I don't think about birthdays till the summertime. You know, because of our birthdays. So, you know, but he took it kind of personal. But, I mean, we never celebrate. You didn't believe in how I had to force Christmas on us. So, <laughs> I'm talking about. Oh, you're talking about you and Steph? Yeah, I had oh, to okay. force Christmas because he, he didn't believe in holidays, but he believed in his birthday. But I don't understand that part. But, you know, that's beyond me. Neither here nor there. Happy birthday this year. Okay? Because I forgot last year. I did. Try to my mind and my heart. But I was. I made sure this time I remembered. Okay? Because I was looking at it like, okay. I, I had to. At first I was like, why is he making this an issue? Why is he making this a problem? Why He, he took it personal because he thought I was doing it on purpose. When I really wasn't, that's from one end of it. But from a man's perspective, from a man's emotions, how he feels about his birthday, he that's that's the day he was born. Everybody's celebrating him, but the person that he's expecting to celebrate him. So emotionally, that can be quite damaging. So I, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, right. regardless of how I feel, about anything about anyone or the situation itself i'm gonna just hang my pride up to my uh, pride to the side and just wish him a happy birthday and tell him how much he means to me and i want him to enjoy himself simply because i don't want him to think like me wishing him a happy birthday he should just drown in misery. enjoy yourself enjoy yourself don't let me be the reason why you can't be happy enjoy yourself i want you to enjoy yourself so that was just in that was just me trying to um you know overcome some things with myself if i express these things it's kind of like this if you don't don't embarrass me in public and then apologize to me in private that's how if, i feel if i if i if i if i embarrass you in some type of way publicly i'm going to apologize the same way i did it right that, that's, that's only right why would i go right. behind the scenes and apologize i'm being fake i'm not being fake to nobody but myself at this point i'm gonna be real so that's just how i feel about this <clears throat> i agree yeah i i remember telling um uh, some of my exes I asked him. He 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 read me out in um in public, and I was like, "Whoa, what happened? You've never done that before." He embarrassed the heck out of me. I said, "Crickets." I'm trying to figure out what was going on with that. He came in the store and yelling at me because I didn't tell him I was not feeling well. When are you gonna yell at somebody who's not feeling well? They say, how dare you not tell me you're not feeling well? Real loud in the store. And um, I wanted to go see Johnny Kill, so I didn't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell him. So, uh, but I, after that day, I was, he, he tried it again, and I said, hold on, let me tell you something. I would appreciate it if you didn't do that, period, anywhere. But I'm saying anywhere if you decide you want to come to me like that, that's what I'm gonna return. Same thing you do to me, mm -hmm. in the same place you do it to me, I'm gonna do it right back to you. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, <clears throat> if you don't understand what you're doing, you know, trying to embarrass me or what are you trying to do? Or oh, hurt my feelings? I'm not sure what you're doing. What's your intent is? 
but you you need to feel what you're doing because I don't like it and I appreciate you didn't do that and well he did again in public in the casino in the food line and I basically responded to him the way he responded to me I, re, I you know I mean and I don't that. agree with the fact that it I per it didn't have to happen period but it just it was bad it wasn't it don't make me right but at the same time I just wasn't going to be stepped on I'm not going to be stepped on you're not going to verbally abuse me uh, you're not going to you know any kind of way it's well mom I was looking at it like this I don't men have an interesting way of expressing themselves they're not going to come with well, you know, Sally, you know, I just feel like you really hurt my feelings because you didn't tell me you wasn't feeling okay. You wouldn't even respect that. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> the look that you just gave, like, you would not want no man coming to you like that because you wouldn't even think that he liked women. No, I I men be, have an interesting way be, of how oh. they express themselves. Sometimes it can come off a little too much, and we just be like, "Hold up, okay, you I, ain't I talking was, to me." But that but, was did, no, but yes, I let that roll. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't come back for him on the day. I thought it was bizarre that how are you yell at somebody who ain't feeling well. <laughs> I'm having heart pal- pal- palpitations. But I don't want to tell him because I want to go see Johnny Gill. Right. <laughs> so you was, you was already wrong. <laughs> what happened to you? Right ain't no wrong. What happened to that? <laughs> Look, what happened to that? <laughs> what happened to that a few minutes ago? Yeah, you right. But, okay, the thing is... But you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. well, you know, come on now. You could have waited till I got outside. You're not finna to stop this gas like, <laughs> like trays. <laughs> what? What's the what gas you? like trays? Yes. Right. Saying, be glad gaslighting all your friends about <laughs> Hey, I didn't tell none of my friends about that. But the thing is is that it was like it's a one thing and the people in the store and I'm like we was in Robinsonville. Uh-huh. You you wasn't no other uh, other customers, thank Lord. It was the people who work there. Right. So you hear him coming in countries all get out. But you was so why didn't you tell me? You were sick. I still didn't tell him <laughs> in the store because you're embarrassing me now. So, and I'm still hoping you'd be cool. It ain't my fault he lost all his money the night before. Uh, and still all night long and couldn't make it back, couldn't couldn't win it back. So, I'm, he mad because I didn't close the door hard enough. See what I'm saying? Right. Okay, that's the evidence of mental health uh, problems. But by then, <laughs> I, I knew. Well, he was schizophrenic. Well, Mama, let me tell you something. We all got a little. He bit was of... little. He was. He was. Uh, uh, what you call it? He was diagnosed schizophrenic. This is not something I'm just saying about him. No, I'm saying. This, okay, I see what you're saying. I'm, my my thing is mm-hmm. is I never understood the whole. Um, you know, I I don't judge because we all experience something. Just judge me a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> you like, I want to see Johnny Kill. But you, but I was talking about that. I was just, Johnny I really Kill. was, I was really messing with you, though. Oh, but for okay. real, though, you said you weren't feeling good. You weren't feeling good. I was just saying, like, if, if, uh, if, uh, usually guys, they have a unique way of how they express themselves. They just kind of like, um, some of them might come off, uh, Cool, calm, collect. Some may not say much at all. Some might come a little, you know, impulsive. You know, some might come sarcastically, but they never gonna come like, you know. I just feel like <laughs> <laughs> they, they men have an interesting way of saying they have their own unique way of saying you hurt my feelings and sometimes we could be too much in our feelings and i have been but you know um 
but that was because I didn't get all the information at the time. But um, it was mainly because, like, you know, I didn't, I didn't see it from a different perspective. I didn't. My mind was somewhere else. I'm gonna just say that my oh. mind was really somewhere else. My mind was on what they were on. It was more so like I was like, why they had to come like that? You know what I'm saying? But I had to really just learn that as men get older, the way they express how they feel changes over time. Nobody remains the same. So you know, the because you see, I think life happens. Different things happen. What traumatized you at 12, you done seen something new by 25. And by 35, oh, Lord Jesus, you <laughs> you, you don't even say, you you start off saying, you might want to get out at 12. By the time they hit 25, hey, you, hey, hey, watch out. By 35, you tell me to get the F out. <laughs> <laughs> you just you see some stuff, you know. What I'm saying? That's the best way I could break it right. up because it's like you know you know see some stuff that that messed you up. Some people have people that they didn't see dead bodies, and that's something they ain't seen at a young age. Versus what us females, you know, we well some might have been protected from seeing those things. You know, I worked in the hospital, so I haven't seen a dead body. So it's like, um, it's just, well, I should say deceased. That's the best way to say it, a deceased body. You know, dead just sounds so dry and just. It's the same person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 